Welcome once again to Grim 3D. This week, I printed this. We're going to talk about a couple of interesting things I learned printing this small box. Stay tuned. So this is a box that was designed by my son. And he actually asked me to print it because he was having a little bit of trouble uh, with all of these little tiny holes, little tiny perforations in it. The super tiny perforations in it are there because this is a box that's meant to hold silica gel to put inside of the filament storage boxes that we use. Now the filament storage boxes we use are airtight uh, and so in order to keep them nice and dry inside so that your filament is not absorbing moisture, you need to add a little bit of silica gel in there. And the silica gel we purchased was just from the sporting goods store. It's designed to go in a safe and keep safes nice and dry inside to protect expensive equipment from moisture. But it comes in a giant container that's meant to keep the interior of a big safe nice and dry for quite a while. We don't need that much in an individual filament box. So we have created this little storage container that we can just keep closed with that little piece of wire. Nice and tight. None of the gel beads can fall out. It works fantastic. The trouble that I had printing this was that in general, I don't like to use rafts. Now, don't let anybody tell you that rafts are bad or don't let anybody make fun of you because you decide to use rafts. However, uh, rafts take extra time and they take extra filament, both of which I don't really want to spend. However, trying to print this particular box without a raft was a disaster. Let's take a look at why. It's going to be quick. If you blink, you're going to miss it. But you'll notice what I got when I printed this without a raft. Let's take a look at that again. It really didn't matter how many times I tried to print this. I leveled the bed. I reapplied my glue stick. Nothing seemed to work. I got about that far every time I tried it. It totally convinced me that I needed to take care of the problem by adding a raft. As the printer lays the raft down in time lapse, you'll notice a couple of things. Number one, it's not having any adhesion issues with the build plate. Number two, it is taking quite a bit of time and it does use quite a bit of plastic. But as it rolls through to start creating the box that I had so much trouble with before and couldn't get to print directly on the build plate, you'll notice that the adhesion is quite a bit better. It throws down plastic just fine. Everything stays where it's supposed to be. And as it builds the lid for this box, which is what's being printed right now, everything seems to be working fantastically. As we move through to the end of this lid, you'll notice that using a raft got me a one shot, first time I tried it, excellent quality print. So hopefully you notice that with the use of a raft, these little tiny perforations, triangular perforations, were able to stick well enough to the raft itself that it went ahead and printed the box just fine. It turned out pretty fantastic. It's fully aer aerated. Without the raft, as the printer outlined these triangles, the outlines were so small that the filament didn't have much of a chance to stick to the bed. Bed adhesion is an issue we all need to be concerned about, but with such a small element, sometimes it's impossible to expect adhesion straight to the bed. And I even use glue stick on my bed. So, and that helps with adhesion, but in this case, it didn't make it much of a difference. If you'd like to know more about silica gel or filament storage, you should check out my other videos. 
Once again, subscribe if you want to. Keep the comments civil, and we'll see you out there.